Greetings and salutations, my name is Olivia and today I will be doing my March wrap up. This month I read 8 books, but I only have 4 to show you because 4 of them were library books. Those were Color Sugru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson, and The You Have Never Known by Ellen Hopkins. And I enjoyed all of those very much. So then the four that I do have to show you is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price, Capricious by Gabrielle Prendergast, Subject to Change by Karen Nesbitt. These two I actually got, I actually won in a giveaway and they are both from Orca Publishing. I enjoyed both of them. Um, I really loved this one and then I have a review of this one up on Goodreads which I will link down below. I also have reviews for some of the other books that I mentioned, um, I will have them linked below as well. And then, it's still March, but um, I'm not going to finish this by tomorrow. So I've started reading Atonement by Ian McEwan. Um, I'm 40 pages in, I'm really loving it, I plan on finishing it for the, um, for the April wrap up. Um, Books that I also tend, intend to read in April are Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. So those are only three books, um, significantly less than eight if you're doing basic math. But I'd also like to read Orange is the New Black by Piper Kerman, but it's not a priority. Um, I'm kind of just going to see where the month takes me, as I usually do. Uh, I'll probably read more but I'm not positive. I also picked up a collection of Sylvia Plath's poetry and Allen Ginsberg's stories from the library, so I will probably be reading some of those, but definitely not the, only not the entirety of the collections. So some other bookish goals I have for, for the month of April is I would like to restock and reorganize my bookshelf because right now it is looking very empty because I am getting rid of almost 70 books so I need to refill my bookshelf with books that I have in boxes and I would like to reorganize them because I really am not happy with the way it looks. Other goals is to get more books. Um, like I said I'm getting rid of almost 70 books so I would like to get maybe 10 books this month. Um, not sure how well that's gonna go for me, but um, I'd like to. Other goals more so focused around this channel is figuring out editing. Um, I think I just figured out how to get the camera so like everything's not like warped whenever you watch it um, because I couldn't figure that out for some reason. It's not that hard actually, but it's a new phone so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, editing, I really have no idea what I'm doing at all. I like genuinely have no idea what I'm doing, so I'd like to try and figure that out. Um, I'd like to get a better setup, um, preferably one that doesn't include my rat cage in the frame. So those are my goals for next month, and those are the books that I've read for this month. Um, it was a good month for reading. These are the first books I've read all year, um, and I really enjoyed all of them, even... The ones that I might not have given a very high v review um, on Goodreads, I still really did like them. So yeah, you know, this month is pretty good overall in terms of reading. Um, hopefully April is like that too. Yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!